few days, but it looks like hopefully it's not going to be as bad as we thought. Somewhere else, right? right? Yeah, mainly to our south. Now, you know, even though we're not going to see real snow accumulations around here, it's still going to be chilly for April, but at least we'll have the sun to make it feel a little right. bit that warmer makes everything better. over the weekend. <laughs> and that does, you know, tonight, check out temperatures over my shoulder. At least tonight, we're going to start the day tomorrow much warmer than how we began our Thursday. In fact, temperatures compared to 24 hours ago are running about 10 to 15 degrees warmer across the Ohio Valley. You know, this morning temperatures made it all the way down into the low and mid 20s for a very cold start. That won't be the case for your Friday. Here's a live look back downtown and as we have a look from high atop Karoo Tower, a couple of things to point out. Notice the breeze on the flag tonight. It is out of the south that in combination with some clouds rolling in temperatures are again considerably milder and they will stay that way overnight. Right now 43 degrees officially at the airport. There's that south breeze that's going to help keep temperatures on the up and up. All right, most of us tonight are generally hovering in the low 40s. Last night at this time, most of us were down into the 20s already. So so a much milder night across the region. It's 44 in Mount Healthy, 46 in Sharonville, 42 in Madeira, 44 in Fort Wright, 46 over around Cleve. So around the entire region, temperatures generally hovering in the low to mid 40s at this hour. So as the headline says right there, not as cold tonight and that storm track continues to shift farther south. That is taking the bulk of the snow with it as well. So while we will have some snow flying around, looks like we're going to miss out on the real accumulation. So let's call it a chilly but dry weekend. Saturday and Sunday look pretty nice. So to snow or not snow, it will snow tomorrow night, especially from the metro south. The difference is, is whether or not we see accumulation. And at this point, I don't really see a good opportunity for accumulation around the immediate Cincinnati metro. Now, as you head south down into Kentucky, it's a different story. In all likelihood, we'll probably see this winter storm watch dropped and maybe replaced with something like a winter weather advisory, which means there will be less snowfall essentially in those counties across northern Kentucky and south central Ohio that are currently under that watch. In fact, the best chance for accumulating snow will generally be south of the 7175 split and as you head even farther south and east of Metro Cincinnati. So I've kind of drawn a line here where I think you could have accumulations around an inch or so, give or take a little bit from Owenton to Dry Ridge to Falmouth up towards Mount Orb and Hillsboro. It will generally be kind of in this corridor your best opportunity for snow to actually accumulate in terms of on the grass and maybe even on a few of the bridges and overpasses. As you'll see here from Futurecast, it's quiet through the night, some passing clouds. Your Friday doesn't look bad at all either. After five o'clock, we'll begin to run the risk of seeing some scattered showers around the area. As temperatures drop tomorrow evening after eight or nine, we'll likely see whatever's falling from the sky and there won't be much. Notice this is almost at midnight. There may be a few flakes of snow beginning to develop. The snow really begins to become better organized after midnight and notice this area of darker blue. And again, notice remember where I drew the line for accumulating snows Owenton to Dry Ridge to Falmouth up towards Georgetown, Mount Orb and Hillsboro. It will be in this area where the snow persists the longest and then eventually moves out of here by Saturday morning. So that's why the greatest likelihood of accumulations will generally be south and east of us. But even in these areas, the snowfall amounts look considerably lower, so they'll probably be replaced instead of a winter storm watch with a winter weather advisory. And it's just simply chilly the rest of Saturday afternoon. So clouds continue to increase tonight, not as cold 37 for your overnight low and then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy and breezy again, not a bad day 55 for your afternoon high. Here's your day planner 43 for a much milder start much better than the 20s of today 52 by lunchtime. It's nice through the afternoon and again after five or six, we could begin to see a few showers develop. Here's your seven day forecast 44 Saturday 45 on Sunday. Notice our average or normal high this time of the year is in the low 60s, so we're almost 20 degrees cooler than we should be. So it's going to be sunny and mostly dry, but considerably chilly for the for at least early April. And then it looks like the night stay cold over the weekend. Maybe some showers again next week, Mike and Sheree before finally maybe some spring like temperatures by the end of the week. All right, June will be here before you know it, Kevin, right? And then we'll be complaining because it's too hot. I won't be. <laughs>